Yo guys, what's up? This is my uh, well, this is my divider. This is going to be oh, actually, hmm. yeah, never mind. Okay, yeah, this is my eight bit divider. It has eight bit for the whole number and eight bits for the um, whatever pass, whatever pass the uh, radix. So, um, yeah, so let's divide something. Oh, also, this is a sequential divider. Um, it uses a, uh, a counter to count how many um, times to cycle it, which is here. It's diagonal because it's like the most compact. Well, so it's there anyway. This is a Peleadder made into a conditional subtractor. That's how this uh, divider works. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Also, this year I could just put a torch, and it'll be fine because I don't need to decide whether or not to subtract because it's always subtracting. But that really doesn't matter. And it also has a flag to say whether it's a valid. Um, subtract a um, valid uh, answer I mean like a valid input even so it's basically a and between a the a input and the b input if there's no inputs from the a it'll cancel this if there's no inputs from the b it'll cancel that so basically it's in the and gate so it always an and okay so let's divide about 35 so that's 16 plus 8 ok that's 24 oh no, oh, I need 32 32 plus 3 ok and 28, 32, 6, yeah Okay, and divide that by five. I should get seven if I no math's good enough. Okay, so let me let me check if this is clear. Okay, so I guess I'll get the counter reset to zero and it'll count up until it gets to seventeen. So because there's a, a sixteen bit output, I have to clock it seventeen times because one is to actually input so it clocks into this then the next is um, then the next cycle is actually the calculations so let me press this button that button is to just go that button is to reset and this is just to do it uh, manually but yeah this is counting up I don't know why this is on. Oh. Okay, anyway, it's done. So uh, I'll show you that again because I was not paying attention to the output. <laughs> right now, that's the valid bit, so this would actually get outputted. But it doesn't, the output doesn't really matter too much because this is just a flag just for the program. Um, and because the actual input comes from the carryout and it gets clocked in so all you have to do is just cancel the carryout so let me do that again so, uh, so, so you can see how it actually gets done so let me reset then if you'll be able to see the update it's like the repeat again the input there but it's just because I don't want to have too big of a too much lag because recording takes a lot of my computer laptop should I say All right, so it gets shifted in sequentially so there so that's there you have it 
Uh, let me do something that doesn't do it properly. So let's do f 35 divided by 4. Let me just try that on my phone calculator. So I can see if I get anything close. So let me reset that while I wait. Okay, so I'm going to do 32 divided by f no, 32. 35 divided by 4 equals 8.75. I think that's this bit plus then it's I'm not too sure but I think it's that and that I'm not too sure so yeah I'll figure it out by now I'll pull like a little I don't know like a pop up to see whether it's correct or not using my editing stuffs Okay, so let's wait for that. By the way, this is on a 16 tick clock. I'm, I think it could be slower. If it's slower, then I'm gonna cry. So it's five, six, what, three, five, six, yeah. Oh yeah, yep. So that is correct. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The one other thing I want to say is that some calculations are not accurate. For example, one was, I think last night I was trying to figure this out with my friend and it was 10 divided by 7 and it gave me a kind of a weird output. It was, it was close, it was about, I think it was 0 0.03 off. But that's still weird. So let me do this. So it should be uh, one point zero one one zero zero one one zero. But it will not get the output. It'll get something a bit different. So the actual decimal value for the output will be not for this one but the actual output should be so it's five, 10 divided by 7 that's 1.428 I'll put this up on the screen so if you can't get this so it's 1.428571428 and I'm guessing the 6 was rounded up and that output is like something like not point I think it's like four, two, five, something, something. So yeah, I don't, I don't know why it does that. It might just be the algorithm just can't do recurring um, divisions f like fully. Well, not none of the calculations are fully accurate, but not as accurate as a proper divider. So I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. So this is going to be my CPU and I'll be recording another video. I think this one will be out before um, the next one explaining what's happening with my CPU. But there's a lot of sh new shit going on. And let me try and look at it. I think it's that. Nope, it's not that. But yeah, I'll sh I'll show you that later. I'm going to be recording a, a multiplier next, and then I'll be doing a video about the CPU. So I'll catch you later, guys. For now, and yeah, see you later.